For the base, I'm using 10 gold 11 inch rounds, which I'm sizing to seven inches. clusters and place one on top of the other. So you want to ensure that you've got two balloons on the top and one going through the middle. Take one of the necks from the lower cluster and pull through the centre. Just figure of eight a few times around. And you can do the same thing with one of the necks from the upper cluster. So just pull that through and figure out eight a couple of times around. Okay. And then I've got a water weight and I'm just going to pull that into the base and pull it through the top and that's going to secure everything together. Just a figure of eight around. Take your four balloon and a 260 and just place that 260 on the neck and then roll that neck up. Okay and when you're about an inch from the side just Fold that in half and then take those two tails and just tie them together. Okay, and once you've tied once, tie a second time. Tails from that foil, just pull them into the base and just wrap around those 11 inch round balloons a few times. Okay, and do that with the tails so this is nice and secure. using a piece of 160 just to grab hold of this little tab here and create an attachment point. So I am just wrapping that 160 around that little tab a few times. And then tying it in and out. And then the Princess Bell, I'm just literally going to grab hold of this little extra bit of foil here, take the 160 and wrap it around there. And once you've done that three or four times, a knot. And then once you've 
my bond knot, tie a second. Okay. You can use these two attachment points to connect the two balloons together. So I'm just kind of assessing whereabouts I want to tie these. I don't want to tie them too tightly together. I want a bit of slack in between. So you can see there's perhaps a couple of inches there, but that's going to enable me to position Princess Belle down to the side here. And please don't worry that at this stage everything is falling all over the place. That is just part of the process. So I'm going to pinch hold of this corner here and make another attachment point. Again, using a 160. And once you get the hang of this technique, um, it makes you look differently at how you're putting these displays together, I think. I'm much more confident in these attachment points than I am with glue. That doesn't mean I don't use glue. Um, sometimes you have to. And um, that's just part and parcel of it. But if I can find a way of doing it this way, then I do. I'm going to take two uh, 160s and I'm just going to tie the tip ends together. And then I'm just going to tie this around the six here. And we can now just tie these tails together just to connect the two foil balloons. I've inflated lots of five inch rounds using pearl gold and I've just sized them organically, tied them into duplets and trimmed off the nozzles. I'm going to use these five inch rounds just to firm up the design. Also inflated some clusters of three 11 inch rounds uh, just randomly sized between about five and a half and six and a half inches and I am using a, a 160 just to connect and I'm going to add these to the base just to fill out the base a little bit to wrap a 160 into this cluster here. And then stretch this down into this cluster here. And tie it in if you want, so I just wrap it in lots of times. And we can now use this as a means of attaching these duplets. I'm just infilling this section here.
using clusters of five inch round in uh, reflex green and I'm just going to start adding those to the display. Now I've got two 260s tied together with a small tail of between a finger and two fingers. Yeah. I'm going to wrap this end into this cluster here. There are a few things we're going to have to adjust up there shortly. And then this tip end, the other end, I'm just going to connect into a cluster at the back. And then I've got a few of these rose heads that I'm going to add to the display. So here I'm just going to use this strap just to secure the rose head here and you can always use a 160 just around the um, little stem there and just tie that on. And then you can use the 160 just to add the rose where you want it to be. And just wrapping that into the cluster at the back here. tape and I'm just going to tape this valve back up here, we'll cluster through here. I'm just going to wrap directly into this tab here. 